Let's go see the gangsta. Hi, Minnie. We're after you. We're wondering what you're doing over there. Are you building something? You like that? Lighters and newbies, welcome to my channel. Okay, guess what? Today, I'm just gonna show you what life is with birds. I don't know if you guys watch any fairy tales from when you were a kid, but this is my fairy tale, me and all my birds. So if you're new to the channel, I have a lot of birds. It's good stuff. <laughs> now, if he says something stupid, you put the camera right on him, okay? <laughs> It's good stuff. All right, so it's not always really chaotic right? in here. Right? What? Yeah. I always say stupid things. Yes, you always say stupid things. You know this. Yeah. All right, when you have carrots, you want to always clear the tables. They can eat, chew, damage, destroy every single thing. They don't discriminate. Doesn't matter to them, all right? But let me just introduce you to all my birds. This doesn't go in here. No, why are you so far back? Guys, I listed a friend get some good video of me. I actually don't know how good she is. Let's do an all my birds video. How about that? And for those of you new here, guess what? I didn't even know what I was gonna do in this video until now. And now I know because it's just one of those days. I have here on my shoulder, she just said hi. This is Nellie. The problem with Nellie right now is that Monty is right here. They're exes, but now they've since gotten back together because I'm just like a really good mediator. I'm kind of like bird therapy and I revamped their homes and separated them and this whole thing. I'm kind of like a mediator slash lawyer. I'm kind of like the triangle in the relationship. They get jealous. So if Monty should make his way up here, Nellie's gonna bite the hell out of my face. Now a good bird person knows that and most of the biting is preventative. It's just you knowing and understanding parrot behavior and preventing it. Monty's very jealous right now. That's Nellie and Monty. They are both Senegals. Nellie and Monty came to me. Nellie, yes, when I lost my bird Picasso, somebody contacted me asking me if I wanted a bird. Somebody called my phone number and said, I'm sorry you lost your bird. I was wondering if you're interested in mine. I'm like, I'll rehome the birds. Okay. Monty, Monty, cute. This is Monty. Monty is in a wonderful home, but he's gonna get rehomed due to some unfortunate circumstances. Apparently not good at rehoming them either. Yeah, apparently, but honestly, it, rehoming these two is much more difficult than finding a home for one bird because of their aggressive dynamic between them and their history and what they were going they through. They are to have. They're not even hard. Well, they are very loud. They're loud. Honestly, of all the voices of all the parrots, these guys are the craziest. All right, come with me into my home. Did you see that? That was blue. <laughs> This is blue. Check out blue. Do you see blue? Let's see what your camera work looks like. Outstanding. So blue is an Indian ring neck. Somebody who watched my channel. <laughs> blue came to me when one of my viewers became homeless. Therefore, blue was actually homeless. So we're watching Blue until they get on their feet. Here's the carry-on for Isis. This is all she has. You're so beautiful in there. Look at your blue eyes. So let's go meet some more birds. This is Leo. He is my Red Lord slash Salvin Amazon. He's a hybrid. See his super fluffy head. The Leo story is a really amazing story because actually you guys are the reason that I have Leo. One day I went into the store, met Leo at Birds Plus and they actually let me bring Leo home to do a video. Leo's owner died, unfortunately, and him and his flock were kind of with nowhere to go. So, well, not nowhere to go. The bird store was taking very good care of them, but Leo just fell in love with me and I fell in love with him. And we have this whole parrot rom-com series on my channel. Oh my God, I'm in love. He's the actual bird that came from that family where the other bird got snatched, which is on the yes. bed, right? 
That's right. Snatch was the other bird that was in his flock, and Snatch now has an Instagram called at Snatch the Bird. Snatch is the one that was in the big bird robbery story. Do you guys remember that? When the robber ran into the bird store, well, he actually spent like a good amount of time in the bird store talking to Lloyd over at Birds Plus, then came back, tried to jack the bird in the bag, and Lloyd, who by the way is like 70 years old, chased him out, knocked him into a cave, and chased him outside. Came back with the guy's hat, shirt, and bird in the bag. They shouldn't mess with Bird's Plus. Don't mess with Lloyd at Bird's Plus or Lou. You know when I take him to like events, people that really know birds like actually come up and are like, oh my God, he's just so gorgeous. And Leo loves children. And he loves when George leaves the room. He cheers. And he also loves Rocky, my macaw. He cheers when Rocky appears and when George leaves. All right, so here's Monty now. All right, so let's go through the birds. Okay, so speaking of Rocky, come up close and get how gorgeous Rocky is. Rocky proud bird, yes. Come closer, Nora, don't be scared. Rocky, Rocky, are you a proud bird? Rocky's a harlequin macaw, he loves George. He also loves to watch Empire at night. He's very upset about the whole Jussie Smollett situation because that I think was one of his favorite characters. But yeah, so he has to watch like Empire or some TV show with music in it at 10 o'clock at night or he gets very upset. Most of my birds go to bed by that time, not Rocky. And Rocky's very talented. Say proud bird, Rocky. Come do proud bird, yeah. That's him, he's very excited about doing that. He loves to show off, he has gorgeous, gorgeous feathers. Rocky was locked in a cage for 10 years before we got him. Not in a cruel or evil way, just kind of like in a miscommunication way between him and his previous owner. So then he came here and he really came out of his shell a lot and totally bonded with George. Rocky. Rocky, what's going on? You came down. Which brings us to Merlin. Okay. Sorry. What kind of filming is this? I'm getting like love taps from somebody here. Well, what's there to complain about love taps? This brings us to Merlin, okay? Let me tell you guys about Merlin. The whole Merlin story is also up on my channel. You guys watched me get Merlin. Merlin was in a rescue, like a parrot sanctuary, an amazing parrot sanctuary called Parrots First. I first met Merlin and Rose over there who have bonded with all the birds and Merlin really hasn't bonded with anyone. She loves the birds, she's amazing with the birds. And I was like, give me one minute. One. When I try to put him in the cage. Hi Merlin, how are you? And I really feel like I connected with Merlin and Merlin was with somebody for 20 years before he had to go into the sanctuary, but that lady did love him, took very good care of him, and also made sure that he went to the right place. When we got Merlin, I was so scared that Merlin would only love me that George put all his effort into socializing with Merlin. Cause like he already loved me at the sanctuary. So I was like, George, you have to socialize with him. And it worked because Merlin is kind of obsessed with George. So it's pretty amazing. You're a good bird. And let's introduce Monty formally. At first glance, like first Nellie's the sweetest. She closes her eyes, she accepts love. But with Nellie, you start with an A plus and you go down from there. Like, oh, Monty came into the picture. You're downgraded to a B. Oh, some other bird gave you a 10 and see until she bites you. This guy acts all grumpy and jealous. I'm gonna talk to you, I'm gonna talk to you, I'm Nelly, and Nelly got the hug, and Nelly got the car. And then once you break through all that, he's just the sweetest. Also, when I got Nelly, she said Nelly neglected. She wasn't neglected by her previous owner, the one before that possibly, but if you leave her alone, she would say Nelly neglected. I haven't ever heard her say it, and that's part of the reason it's been hard for me to rehome her because I never once heard her say that 
that like in in a very long time now but afterwards like if I would put her in a carry-on to have someone watch them or something back when they were in quarantine I had to have someone else watch she'd get in the carry-on go Nelly neglected Nelly neglected and I was like no it's okay now we have one of the major stars of our channel Jersey she's such a baby she's a fluffy cloud and if this looks fun it is it's like kissing a cloud. Can you pick up your look? She's got her foot up. She's tired. What are you mad at? She's like, fine. She's like, I'm gonna disappear. Jersey is an amazing bird. She is an umbrella cockatoo. She dances. You can watch all her dancing videos. She's loving. Always tries to get sugar. She always tries to get donuts. She always tries to get sweet stuff because George has a sweet tooth, but birds really need to be on an extremely healthy diet. So that's why she has a viral video where I say you cannot have a donut and she throws a parrot tantrum. You can't have a donut. <laughs> No, donuts aren't for birds. She plucks, but sometimes she wears sweaters. She has a little bit of anxiety, if you notice. And now we have our other African Grey, Cody. Cody's a reincarnation, sort of, of my first African Grey, George. You can watch this whole story called The True Unbelievable Story of Cody. Say hi, Cody. Say hi. Cute bird, look at you. Her and Merlin are always kind of fighting for territory because for some strange reason they like exactly the same spots. Right, baby? But she's a really funny bird. She says a lot of different things. She's always like, what? And she tells me like, let's go. Like when George calls me, when George like, Marlene, she goes, let's go. And she tells the dog she's a good girl. She says, I love you. She talks a lot. She laughs at all the right times. Let's go see the gangsta. Hi, baby. We're after you. We're wondering what you're doing over there. Are you building something? Vinny loves boxes. He loves beatboxing. Yeah. And he loves talking. And he talks a lot of nonsense, but he's very clear, if you know what I mean. You can't wait for what? Go over there. Where are you going? You've got to get the Vinny mic. Yeah. He likes dive bombing George. Ah! Run! <laughs> Vinny Noora came to see you. Guys, I got another bird to introduce to you, ready? He's very dramatic. His name is Brando. Yes. And he's a baby mustache parakeet. He's only about five months old. Oh my God. Oh, do you smell good? Okay, so for mustache parakeets, I get this question all the time and I need to make it clear. Yes, the males have an orange beak and the females have a black beak but they all start off with an orange beak. Then all of their beaks go black. And then if they go back, then they are a male. And if they don't go back and they stay black, then they are a female. So even though he or she has a black beak right now, it's still gonna be a few months before we see if there's been a change. Because I love him so much. Nellie's jealous, she's biting my ear. And so he's just gonna stay there and shoe boxes. And some people are gonna come over and we won't be able to let them in so the door is locked because that's his area. So those are the rules. And of course we have our little budgie which you guys saw in the beginning of the video. This is a bird that we are currently looking for his owner. And we named him Pablo. Finchie totally bosses me around. By the way, Finchie tells me like, hey, feed me now, and do all these things. Like when we're eating, Finch is like, see some for me. It's the cutest thing, like how they communicate. And then after I give Finchie some of his vegetables, he like 
says thank you. It's so cute. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I gotta sign off now because it just got crazy in this house. You guys don't even know. I got friends where their shower broke down in their house. Now everyone's sleeping over here. It's really exciting and fun. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know your favorite part of this video. Bye. Hey guys, the Feathered Fun Box is our new subscription box of toys, treats, and other surprises for you and your bird. So don't forget to check the link below and get in on that. And guys, don't forget to check out my new line of organic bird food called Marlene's Signature Blend, made with tops. The link is below.